the step tone generator part of the instrument. Well, I did, I did a workshop here last year doing the VTEC phone bend and Martin asked me back to do another one this year. So uh, this is way back in January time. So I'd, I'd had a rough idea about doing the Atari Punk console or step tone generator, and, but modify, making a more interesting instrument out of it. So by adding extra circuits to it. So we built an Atari Punk console, then added a fuzz circuit for distortion and an amplifier to boost the signal and clarify it a bit and uh, a five step sequencer to get rhythmic stuff out of it. So yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of my approach to a lot of circuit bending and building instruments and my music really is I kind of take a modular approach. So rather than building really complex instruments, I tend to focus on quite small simple things and then combine them to make something more rich and complex. You know, it's only recently in the past, I'd say, two years that I've really got into, you know, creating these like kind of crazy synth, synthetic instruments. Then when I realised that you could do more with it, say, uh, bend the circuit of the instrument, then, you know, that's when I started to come to like things like these workshops that they put on every now and again. I mean, today, like, uh, we're going to be, like, learning how to create these Atari punk consoles, which uh, seem slightly more complex than the things that, you know, you do, say, to a Casio VL tone keyboard. In my research, I tend to find that circuit bending is quite a male world. Mm. What are your opinions of that? Oh, I think it. I think that um, it definitely is gendered in that way. I think a lot of kind of technology that surrounds electronic music, the world of DJing, all this kind of uh, like a very technical asp or like a technical side of music does seem to be incredibly male dominated, and. Um, I think there's no reason why it needs to be, you know, but, but I do think that it is, it is gendered as a very masculine pursuit. Well, it's very interesting because during the Second World War, when all the men were away fighting, women ran all the technology, like all the kind of war communications, everything, sort of all the technological predecessors of the internet were completely run by women. And uh, it's only when really when you see the end of the Second World War and men come back and want their jobs back, it became really important to, to, to change the perception of it and make it a not very feminine thing to do because if you did that, then women wouldn't want to do it so then men could get their jobs back. Do you see what I mean? So it's a completely constructed thing.
circuit bending um, really started this time last year. I came to the course um, that uh, Stu ran here um, and made uh, something that I call the Honkatron. Um, and that was, the first, that was the first bit of circuit bending. I'm not really much of a musician and I thought that uh, therefore music circuit bending probably wasn't that much use to me. Um, and the interesting thing about video is that uh, there's less video bends around, I think partly because it's more technical and therefore it's harder for people to get into, um, and partly because it's kind of quite bulky and that's also I guess a disadvantage. So I wanted to do something that was a bit different and something that uh, didn't need a lot of musical skill and hence the video stuff. time they don't give us chance cause people frown when you want to dance cause they don't want your fantastic moves in the way but we've all passed out on the train yeah we've all passed out on the train and when we woke up well we were somewhere better somewhere better for a change 